Hello YouTube and welcome back to Be A Loser. In this video, we'll be discussing the longer fasting regimens. These regimens are generally intended for individuals with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. So we left off with the 24-hour fast that was popularized by Brad Pilon in his book Eat Stop Eat. A related diet is the 5-2 approach. This method was created by Dr. Michael Mosley. He appeared on a BBC program called Eat Fast and Live Longer. He also wrote a book titled The Fast Diet. So it differs from Pilon's diet in that you do not have two 24-hour fasts during a week. Instead, on the 5-2 diet, you eat five days a week your normal diet, but on the other two days of the week, you would only eat 500 calories over the course of the entire day. This is not technically fasting, but it will garner results. They won't be as rapid as a true fast, but due to its popularity, I'd be remiss not to mention it. So next is alternate daily fasting, or ADF. This regimen has the most research behind it. It was designed by Krista Verade, an assistant professor at the University of Illinois, Chicago. She also wrote a book titled The Every Other Day Diet. Now, this diet is similar to the 5-2 method. However, on the ADF diet, you have the 500 calorie days every other day rather than twice per week. As we move forward, I would like to stress once more that if you are going to try the longer fasting periods, that you consult with your physician first, especially if you are diabetic or on any form of medication. And if you are on metformin or other diabetic medications, you must monitor your blood pressure and blood work very closely. As you fast, your blood sugars are going to drop. And if you do not adjust your medications, it could cause hypoglycemia and be life-threatening. If you cannot be monitored closely by yourself, your doctor, or both, then don't fast for long periods of time. Also, there are certain medications that will cause stomach discomfort on an empty stomach. NSAIDs, ASA, iron supplements, and metformin are just a few. Again, consult your physician if you are on daily medications. If at any time you feel dizzy or ill, you should stop fasting immediately. You can feel hungry, but you should not feel sick. Okay, so moving on, we have the 36-hour fast. So this means that you will skip one entire day of eating. So as an example, if you eat dinner at 7 p.m. on Monday, then you will skip the entirety of Tuesday and eat breakfast at 7 a.m. Wednesday morning for a total of 36 hours fasting. And to continue, you would not eat the rest of Wednesday and then eat dinner on Thursday around 7 p.m. for another 36 hours fasting and so on and so forth. This is also considered alternate daily fasting, ADF. Now, when I have used this method, I've seen an average weight loss of about four pounds per week. Okay, so 42 hour fasts. In essence, this is a 36 hour fast plus one extra skipped meal. So you would eat dinner on Monday around 7 p.m then skip all meals on Tuesday, and then eat your breakfast at noon on Wednesday. If you push through to dinner at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, then this would extend to a 48-hour fast. I've tried this method as well, and I've seen an average weight loss of approximately two pounds per day. Now, any fast longer than 48 hours is considered a cleanse. 7 to 14 day fasts were very popular many decades ago. Now, if you try these fasts, then be sure to break your fast slowly to avoid a stomach ache. Now, don't restrict your meals after the fast, but instead just eat until you're satisfied. Most individuals report a significant loss of appetite after 48 hours, as well as a significant increase in energy levels. Insulin regulates body set weight, BSW, and since your insulin is low while fasting, 
your body now wants to lose weight. So what we're saying is that appetite goes down, but total energy expenditure, remember TEE, it goes up. Under caloric reduction is primary, appetite goes up and TEE goes down. So in layman's terms, when you are fasting, you are less hungry with more energy. When you're calorie counting, you are more hungry with less energy. This is why fasting works and calorie counting, aka eat less, move more, fails. I'm looking at you, biggest loser. Okay, well we'll get into that in depth in a later video. And in fact, that's going to do it for this video. In our next video, we'll discuss some tips for making your fasting easier. And of course, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. We do like to hear from you. And until next time, keep being a loser.